Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Tiana. Um, I know I haven't been on YouTube for so long, and I have reasons, okay? But I really got. I want to talk to you guys about like my hair for real. So if you guys didn't know, I kind of big chopped in December. And right now I'm just growing my hair out, you know. It was a natural hair horror story, basically. This is what I should name the video, natural hair horror story. Um, I had literally had to cut all my hair off. My hair was down my back. But the reason why I haven't been uploading lately, to start with that, is because, so, I haven't had Wi-Fi in my house lately and I wasn't able to upload videos. Simple as that. So yeah, that's why I haven't been uploading. Anyway, I just got Wi-Fi about three days ago and I'm ready to be consistent with the videos. I'm trying to do it every week. Honestly, I have a whole list of video ideas to do. I'm just being self-conscious and slightly lazy. So, that's where I've been. I'm sorry, I have some notes. You know, you guys stay on track. Okay, number one, the Dominicans fucked up my hair. Last year of April in 2017, I decided to go to Dominican, Dominican salon, right? Um, so, <laughs> I went with my little sister too, and she wanted to come. I'm like, okay, me and my mom, she uh, took the both of us, right? So they washed our hair. This is where, this is step one. This is where we fucked up. Because number one, we went in there, literally nobody was in there. And it wasn't like they just opened. It, it wasn't like they just started to open. It was like the middle of the day, the, the, the salon was just empty. Nobody was in there. We were the only ones, right? So we said that we wanted a wash roll set with a deep conditioner right so they washed both me and my sister's hair um they put a conditioner on it i thought that was just a conditioner after you wash it you know and i'm like and then they went straight to the chair i'm like wait you need to put rollers on my hair you're supposed to put rollers while i'm here after i wash it and deep condition she didn't even deep condition and she charged me 15 dollars for the deep conditioner She's like, she, oh yeah, I already put it on your hair. No, you did not put it on my hair because I'm supposed to sit under the steamer and let it sit for at least 15 to 30 minutes, you know? So she didn't do that. Um, she didn't do that to my sister's hair either. And I say, what happened to the roll set? She says, oh, your hair is not gonna grip the rollers. So we're just gonna have to go right into um, blow drying it and Fly ironing it. What sis? You're gonna go right into it? You're not even gonna detangle? She didn't detangle my hair? Nothing. And this is where I fucked up because I knew this is this was gonna end badly. But me being shy and me not, you know, sticking up for um myself and my sister, which I should have done. Um, I was a little scared and then we were the only ones there so so we go to the chair this is less than an hour I I never been in and out of the salon so quickly but anyway so <laughs> we sit in the chair and she's like blow drying like you know how they grip the hair with the brush and blow dry it not detangling it before, just blow drying it on wet, undetangled hair. And it's like, what are you doing? And me being shy or whatever, I didn't stick up. Like, I didn't stick up for myself and my sister. And I feel so bad because now we have to start over. And my sister and I are doing the same thing. She did her big chop before me though. Anyway, so, as she's flat ironing, I can just smell my hair just being burnt. I knew it was over. I knew it was over. It was just being burnt. And 
they charge us an arm and a leg and the reason why they did that because they don't have any clientele so they have to charge us an arm and a leg even though they didn't do what was asked of them to be done so I got they charged me like 115 but they didn't walk they didn't do deep condition and they didn't do the roll set so whatever anyway my mom came and got me she was confused she was like why am I being charged this much and you didn't even do the, uh, it was just too much we were the only ones there I was just like come on mom let's just go because I don't got time I really don't got time for Dominicans and they know what they did they played us because they don't get any clientele and that's why they overcharged us and they go say my hair is too thick for rollers what like I've been to the Dominicans before they put my hair in rollers what are you talking about so to the Dominicans before they put my hair in rollers what are you talking about so no offense to anyone that's Dominican this is Dominican salon I don't recommend going to this is based off my experience my last experience anyway so they basically fried our hair um out the um it, my hair was straightened. I left it straight for like a month. Well, I didn't have any choice because it was basically burnt straight. So it wasn't like it was going, coming back to curly anyway. So, um, yeah, um, when I washed my hair for the first time, it still smelled like burnt hair. My hair was still burning after a whole month from coming back from the salon. A whole month and my hair is still burning burning so like I knew that was it <laughs> that was the moment where I was starting to transition and this is April 1st 2017 um so I cut my hair in December I'm gonna insert a little clip of all the hair that I cut off Um, or try to insert a picture. Sorry guys, I thought someone was home. That's kind of weird filming in somebody's home. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna insert a little picture or something. I did a little big chop or whatever. Um, yeah, that was a little depressing because I, my hair was just so long. Like I've gotten to the point like my, my hair that was the longest it has ever been probably in my life well I'm lying because when I was six before I used to get like relaxers and stuff um my hair was long um anyway it's a new chapter. I didn't want to hang on to any dead ends, so I cut that shit off. It's done. It's over with. Um, it, it was about to be a new year. I'm like, fuck it. It's November. You know, like, no need to hang on to dead ends. So I cut the shit off, and it looked great. Everybody complimented me. Some people didn't like it. Some people were with it. Why'd you cut your hair? Why'd you cut your hair? Because it was damaged, and I'm not hanging on to any dead ends. Okay, so another thing, I feel as though the universe gave me a second chance on my hair because it's so ironic how, like I said, I cut my hair, well, I damaged my hair. I went to Dominicans in April 2017, right? The, first, the last relaxer I had was April 2014, and these were birth, both the 1st of April, so April 1st, 2014, and April 1st, 2017. So, so that's like a three year, three year, um, that's a three year mark of my natural hair, and I feel as though this is like a new beginning in a way to where maybe I can document my process for the 
This is probably, this is the third big chop I've ever done in my life. This is the third time I've done a damn big chop. Okay, I'm fed up, I'm over it. <laughs> I'm over the awkward stage, I'm over the short hair, I'm just over it. So yeah, um, I feel like this is a, a great opportunity for me to document my hair journey again and hopefully stick with it and not go to, and just be more cautious of my hair and who's handling my hair, okay? That's all I wanna say. Um, and I wanna hopefully just take my subscribers along with me. I know everybody that subscribed to me doesn't really, I don't know, I don't know what you guys want to see. My hair, my channel is really about my hair, my natural hair, but sometimes I do other videos, you know, like the, uh, the last video I did or the second to last about my social anxiety and stuff like that. I like to do off topic videos here and there. So don't be afraid to tell me what you want to see. Comment down below, like it. Like this video if you'd like to see other things. Comment down below if you'd like to see other things. Um, yeah, um, so I'm gonna insert like pictures of how long my hair used to be before I cut it and then pictures of me after, so yeah. Um, I was sad, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So that's it for today. Um, I meant to say like this video if you want to see a social anxiety update and then comment if you like other videos, you know. You know, I'm happy to do hair tutorials, I'm happy to do uh, I'm not really a makeup artist, but I do makeup hair, you know. If you want to see that, you can see that. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you guys for watching if you watched this long. Um, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye.